Hey, how's it going everyone? Just back in with another lesson. This one is uh, centered around 2nd Ezra 78889. And this is in response to a back and forth I'm going um, with End Times Teacher. And, um, you know, just to reveal again why this is one of the many, many reasons why we're in the last days. Okay, because it's about God's character and it's about the character of his elect. Okay, and so they're going to be a certain way, you know, and then their spirit that, have, that has existed in the past is just simply in a new body in the last days, but they're going to think and operate the exact same way as they uh, have when this was written, you know, in 2nd Ezra 7, 88 to 89. Now, this is the order of those who have kept the ways of the Most High when they shall be separated from their mortal body. During the time that they lived in it, they laboriously served the Most High and withstood danger every hour so that they might keep the law of the lawgiver perfectly. Okay, and so... This is God's elect, okay? And so that's, again, why the Bible is not written for very many people, because first and foremost, most people don't even care about, you know, God's laws, um, really any of them, and much less withstood, you know, withstood danger every hour continuously, okay, in order to keep it perfectly. And so it's a life or death situation, okay, for this group that's being described here. And now we know uh, everywhere in the Bible. And so uh, this group is not going to compromise on that at all okay and uh, we have many many examples of that crisis obviously the supreme example and then Eleazar, the brothers and maccabees and all that and so the bible lays before a life and death situation okay and so we did not know a lot of us did not even know that god existed you know for a majority of our life you know even if we were into religion as much as we do now because of the flat stationary earth and then we didn't know that we were Israelites, you know, some of us. And so we had no idea. Okay. And so this is a unique time where we didn't even know that God existed, first and foremost. So how could we even know that we could potentially be Israelites? And then we were not aware of the fact that these verses exist, you know, because we were obviously not taught that by the Christian church because um, they're lawless. Okay. Uh, they not only do they not keep the law perfectly, they don't even teach what it is, okay, and anything like that. And so, um, you know, we have a, a bit of a quote-unquote excuse, okay, and then this is all by, by design, okay, we were subject to vanity like the Bible says, but now that we know God exists, okay, and then we have to model the behavior of the people that God loves, okay, and it's written right here and everywhere in the Bible, and so withstood danger every hour, and so this is a life or death situation. And this is again why I know that we have to be in the last days or, or and Christ will return sooner. The, the God of the Bible doesn't exist. Okay, because, and um, if Christ does not return again in a very short order, then I, I don't believe that this group exists, this elect, because then they're just gonna be like, ah, whatever, you know, God will forgive you for that. This is what end times teacher tells Luke. Ah, God will forgive you, just don't do the next thing and all that. That's not, that doesn't sound like this, <laughs> this group of people. It's not funny, but like, uh, I'm not reporting to, luke who would be of the elect okay if he were saved down the road no i don't even want to be around people like that they're disgusting and then end times teacher is talking about going to the end of the great tribulation which you'd have to then ask god to forgive you for a whole bunch of other sins to get to that time and then we don't want to report to people like that either okay and so that's why again um it's god's character and the elect's character that's on trial right now and so i'm a i'm a minimum threshold okay they better be as fervent about the law as I am, okay? And I, I know, I don't even know what they all are and, um, you know, we, we can't keep them, okay? We don't even know what they all are. And then once we do start keeping one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, then you, you will realize like you're gonna die, okay? And then that, that's what I've, that's a conclusion that I've come to now is that once you realize, once we realize we're not allowed to tell a lie, then when we go to a quote unquote job interview, we're not allowed to lie and say, oh, what, I don't have a five-year plan. It's what God wants for me, okay? And then they, they ask you to do this and this and all that, and we know that we're not allowed to take part of that because that's um, related to the mark of the beast, is the mark of the beast. And so uh, who's going to, who's gonna quote, <laughs> hire you, okay? And then we're not even technically, we should not even be involved in taxation because we know that that money is to fund a war against God, to fight against our God. So we're not gonna go and put money money into the bucket and then support that military industrial complex. So we take our hand off the wheel. And we just realize after you go through a few of those laws, you know, that this world will be like, no, get the hell away. And then we also say, get the hell away from us. And then we're not allowed to lie, okay? And then 
say that Job 9.24 is not referring to this when it obviously is. Okay, and so we know what the, these people, their role is. They're just actors, okay? The people of this book are not actors, okay? The real people of this book, it's a life or death situation for them and they'll take death gladly because they know that once you die, you're outside of the body. Like it says here, now is the order of those who have kept the ways of the Most High when they shall be separated from the mortal body. They're anxious for that, okay? And so that's our position, you know, and that's what the Bible says. And so this group, the, the, the true people of the Bible, the elect, they're anxious to die because they don't want to be here, okay? And so they understand that this is a test, like it says here, to withstand danger every hour um, to see whether they love God or whether they love whatever that person's telling you to do. Okay, Nebuchadnezzar, and then modern day, it's Biden and all these people, Fauci and all that. So um, it's just different characters, okay? And so just know that, okay? And then even during the transatlantic slave trade, there'll be people like End Times Teacher and all these people will be like, yeah, you know, just don't worry, just do the best you can. Like Sakari will say and Tahar will say, these actors, these Satanists, uh, do the best you can. You know, no, if you go on that slave ship, it's, it's okay. You're still keeping 50% of the law. Then there'll be people like me who will be like, if you go on that slave ship, you're, you, God hates you, okay? Because that's not keeping the law of the lawgiver perfectly, okay? Trusting your enemies, which you're not supposed to do, according to what the Bible says, and do this. It's the same thing. If you go on a slave ship, and you're trusting your enemy to take you to a place to do something to you that's going to be positive, but you didn't trust in God, okay? And so that's not keeping the law of the uh, lawgiver perfectly. Going to your slave job, getting paid with your own money, doing this and this, that's not trusting in the, uh, keeping the law of the lawgiver perfectly. That's not, that's not it, okay? And then using your own tax money to go and fund a war that's going to be ultimately against God, that's not uh, keeping the law of the lawgiver perfectly. We state exactly what's going on now because we know what's going on. We know what this evil place is all about. So no, we don't even put a, a drop in the bucket at all. Okay, we're just simply waiting, keeping a very low profile and just waiting to see if God returns, okay, in our lifetime. And then if he doesn't return in our lifetime, we're in, we can be inclined to say that God doesn't exist, okay? Because what's he going to do? Save people like Luke Matt, Luke Dormat, okay, LM33, by the way. And um, I think it's Catherine M or Catherine L is 33, the other one, a zombie who took it. These are all actors, okay? And so no, we're not gonna wait for them to get something figured out so they can be saved and then we can report to those retards in the kingdom. Are you kidding me? Revelation 18, four, and I heard another voice from heaven. This is where that voice is gonna come from saying, come out of her, my people, that ye be not partakers of her sins. Wait a minute, maybe it says that, be, you, uh, that ye be not partakers of some of her sins. Is that what it says? Come out of her, my people, that ye be not partakers of her sins. Not some, okay? And that ye receive not of her plagues. Okay, so if you have that mindset, like I read in 2nd Ezra 7, 8, 8, 8, 8, 9, and Revelation 18, 4, then, then we have a chance. Okay, we don't want to be involved in any of it, okay? We'd rather die, you know, than go forward with anything, okay, that will offend God. We're not false uh, witnesses. We're not going to say that the mark of the beast, I don't know, maybe you just go to your job and say, I don't know what it is. Maybe we say exactly what the mark of the beast is, okay? And if people don't like it, then we don't care, okay? To hell with them, okay? If they don't want to let us be around them or, or whatever, we can say this boldly now, and that's going to cost you your life if you say that, okay? Your livelihood at the very least, okay? No one's going to want to be around you. Even the religious truthers on YouTube don't want to be around you, these terrible actors. And so how is your company going to want to be around you? when they've already administered that to like some percentage of the people there, I'll say it boldly and I don't care what the consequences are. Okay, because we know exactly what the mark of the beast is. And that's why these actors have to play dumb. Well, I don't know, we have to see 50, really this dummy thinks he's the, one of the two witnesses. Okay, and then he's talking about, uh, I don't know, may, maybe it's, maybe it is 50-50, we got us, time will tell. Okay, and that's the title of some of his videos and this, these zombies want us to hang around here longer to the end of the Great Tribulation so we can listen to more of retarded things that they say. This place is absolutely finished, okay? And so this is why we're gonna find out whether the God of this Bible is true on the order of days because it's God's character and then it's the quality of his elect that's going to be discovered, okay? And um, God's elect, if they're saved next year, year after year after, they're disgusting people, okay? They're vile monsters, okay? If you make a plan to eat your Doritos and hang around here for two, three, four, five years, okay? And so that's why it's, it's now or never, okay? And I say that confidently. I'm not reporting to somebody 
who save down the road, quote unquote, down the road, because that's the group that's going to be the leaders in the kingdom. And so, no, we're not hanging around here, people sinning, doing a bunch of stuff when like, why, why would we want to report to those retards? Okay. No, I want to report to the people that were written of in 2nd Ezra 7, 88 to 89. Okay. And I will not compromise anymore because then we'll just have another quote kingdom like this. Okay. Um, uh, just know that this is what the Bible says. In Second Ezra, okay, that um, in Second Ezra, um, I believe it's sixteen seventy three, and so this is an important thing to know, okay, that um, it's about God's character, and um, it's about the qu the quality of God's elect. Sec Second Ezra sixteen seventy three. Then the tested quality of my elect shall be made manifest like gold that is tested by fire. And so if God's elect are a bunch of ding-dongs who just want to hang around here and work within the system and weasel their way around to hang around here. And I don't know what the mark, I don't know what it is and this and that. And no, the mass is not, no, it's not that. Just do, do whatever or whatever. No, I don't want to be around those people. I don't even want to, I'm not going to be led by them or even be around them. Okay. Forget about them being the, the, this, the tested quality of God's elect. God's elect will be a bunch of retards. Okay. And I'll say that right to their face. I don't care. And I'll say that right to that God's face too. And so that's not a quality of God's elect. Okay. A bunch of dummies teaching, keep the law to the best of your abilities, which is nowhere to be found in the Bible. That's absolutely ridiculous. Matthew 15, six to nine and honor not his father or mother, he shall be free. Thus have ye made the commandment of God of none effect by your tradition. Okay, this thing of ours that end times teacher keeps talking about doesn't even know how to say the word thing. It is theirs. Okay, that's a that's a, a tradition, a doctrine, a man. Okay, verse seven, you hypocrites. Well, did um, Isaiah prophesy of you, saying, "The people draweth nigh unto me with their mouth and honoreth me with their lips, but their heart is far from me." They can put multiple videos up every day and, and say, "I've been in the truth for thirty years or whatever." But when it comes down to what the Bible actually says, they won't teach it. Verse 8, but in vain do they do worship me, teaching for doctrines the commandments of men. Okay, that's not what the Bible teaches. Okay, what the Bible teaches is exactly what I'm saying right now. Okay, you try and keep one of God's laws. Now that you know you're in the last days, God exists and you, and you want to be, you're an Israelite or you want to model the behavior of an Israelite, which is a good move. Okay, you start following one of his God, laws. Oh, wow. Okay, we're not supposed to bear false witness. Okay. Well, good. So I'm going to now go and tell people exactly what I know now, based on what God's told me. The earth is flat and stationary. America's mystery of Babylon. The mark of the beast is that. Okay. And this is Job 9, 24. And then the list goes on. And then that's, that's a true testimony. Okay. And then those are prophetic statements too, that you're making. So that's good. Okay. So you're not bearing a false witness. And so not just going along with it, playing along with it. Okay. And then you add on another one. Okay. And then you add on another a third law and then a fourth law. And then you realize, well, you can't even be here. Okay, because this has pork in it. Okay, and so they, they don't want you here. They don't want me here. And so we're like, we don't care. We don't want to be here anyway. And so, yeah, we don't even get to the 613th law. By the way, we get to the third or fourth one. They're, they're like off with them. You're dead. Okay, get them out. Okay, and so and we want to be out. Okay, so that's perfect. So we have an agreement between us and the B system. We don't want to be here and they don't want us here. And that's good. Okay, and so because that's just the beginning of it, really. Okay. And then, uh, no, we don't want to breathe this disgusting air, you know, and then eat this, whatever this food is, which I don't even want to call it food, and listen to a bunch of liars on YouTube and everywhere. And so blaspheming God, saying that he was born of man and woman, calling themselves the elect and the two witnesses and every other nonsensical thing. And then we have these retards telling us that the earth spins thousands of miles every day. Are you kidding me? That's absolutely ridiculous. And so, no, we don't want to be here. And so it's not about me or you anymore, okay? It's about God and his character and who are his elect, okay? And so if you want to be and think you are of the elect, you better be living according to 2nd Ezra 88, 89 and be on the edge of your life, okay? I got Ridge and all these other actors coming by saying they think that the 144,000, they don't teach anything, they don't know what the hell's going on. 
okay? These morons are making like salt music in the last days, okay? These retards talking about, oh, I'm gonna be saved and all this kind of stuff. Yeah, don't worry, you know, just you have a plan to make money, you know, and all that when you're money. No, we don't have a plan to make money, you dummies, okay? We don't wanna be here, okay? If you haven't figured that out, okay? Because this entire earth is antichrist, okay? Anything we do, every law, one we add on to it, we become more and more unwelcome here, okay? If you haven't figured that out. And then the truth community are filled with Satanists, okay? Like people like End Times Teacher, okay? And so, no, we don't want to be here. Because you dummies, we read the Bible to you, and then you guys get angry, okay? And stuff like that. And so that that's telling, okay, of what the world is like. And then everybody else except me is teaching some version of the Bible, which is complete nonsense, okay? Like, like obviously nonsense, okay? And so that's pretty much where we're at, okay? And so nowhere in the Bible can you make a case for keep the law to the best of your abilities, okay? If you haven't read it for yourself, just trust second Ezra. Just, I trust Ezra's over end times teacher, okay? Who barely knows how to read and write, okay? I definitely will trust Ezra's more than end times teacher. Who do you trust, okay? Uh, I would, I'd go to that, I'd go with Ezra's, okay? Because he said a lot of other things that are happening right before our very eyes. Okay, and then I have actually have a feeling that Ezra and Daniel are the same person. Okay, so yeah, I'll definitely trust, you know, those Israelites over end times teacher and Bible defender. Okay, are you kidding me? And um, good ser servant and all these actors. Are you joking? Um, Luke Matt, Luke Dormat, you're going to trust these retards? I would go with what the Bible says. Okay, and then if you're not on the brink, on the edge of your life, then this book is not for you because that this group has been always that way okay they that's now but now we know that who we are okay and so we would have been like this had we known these truths sooner this is why we've been told this later because god's true people if we found out for example the ultra flat stationary we wouldn't be here today no definitely not we wouldn't kind of weasel our way oh no okay no worries no, no we're out okay if we cannot be truthful be honest we get out Okay, if we can't leave like like the other like the like the remnant in, in Arzareth, if we can't find another distant land, but as a young person, what we can't go anywhere. So we go out of the body. Okay, like it says here. Now this is the order of those who have kept the ways of the Most High when they shall be separated from the mortal body. Okay, bye. That's what we do. Okay, and but again, we're we're willing to wait. You know, just to just to see Christ return, and we'll wait. You know, a reasonable amount of time. But I'm not wait, waiting two or three or four years for these morons to think that they're of the elect and then we can go report to those retards later, okay, down the road or something like that. No, hell no, okay? This elect better be good quality, okay? And then if you think you're one, you better be good quality and I'm gonna find out how quality you are in a few minutes, okay? For you retards that are on YouTube teaching the Bible, playing dumb thing that, oh, what, I, what I just, no, where does it say that, this and that? It says it right here, okay? And so we know that you people are actors. Hope everyone's doing well, bye.